Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be getting ready because it is my 30th birthday today, which just seems so crazy. I don't feel like I'm 30 <laughs> at all. Um, it's been a while since I've um, filmed a video. I think the last one I did was last February, which was like right before all the craziness of 2020 happened. But yeah, today is my 30th birthday and there's not like a ton to do during this pandemic and especially in January and when you have kids and stuff like that. So we're just kind of laying it low today and I know I wanted to do my hair and makeup because I really have not been doing my makeup at all this last year and I just wanted to feel pretty today. It's kind of getting like later towards the evening right now. It's like almost like five or six o'clock right now. So yeah, but um, I just wanted to do a little get ready with me because it's been so long and I can look back at this and like, I don't know, kind of see like what my 30th birthday was like. Um, I'm probably gonna be looking here instead of here a lot just to like see how I look in the camera, but oh, my hair is kind of bugging me. I got this, um, my hair is super, super long. It goes down to my belly button when I'm standing up. It's even longer when I'm sitting. Um, but yeah, I haven't had a haircut in over a year because of the pandemic. Um, and it's just really long. And also like all my hair is growing in from like when I lost all my hair from having Olivia last year. Um, I got these clip things off Amazon. I'm gonna try to like pin back my hair really quick. Um, but yeah, Brennan got me this uh, blow dry brush for Christmas, which I really love. Like it makes my hair so soft and it's super fast to do it. I don't have to straighten my hair. But um, for the first little while, like my hair just kind of is a little crazy. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to just like pin it back a little <laughs> for a little while. So hopefully that works. But yeah, do I look like I'm 30? <laughs> my face is really red right now. I think it's from like blow drying my hair. My face gets really red. But yeah, oh, the shirt keeps like going down. This is one of those shirts. Um, you guys know 11th Gorgeous, uh, Tracy and Stephanie, how they have the Madison and Mallory boutique. Um, I bought actually quite a bit of clothes from their boutique online and I really like it. And this is one of them. And I've only worn this one, I think once. So yeah, I decided to wear it for my birthday. It has like a like crisscross in the front, but it's really pretty. So yeah. It has been such a long time, so I'm gonna just like get started because I know this is probably gonna take a while, but I just have so much to talk to you guys about. Um, I might not do like too much into like like makeup talk as much, just so I can kind of like fill you guys in. I feel like I'm out of breath because I was like getting ready for this video. Um, but yeah, let's see. I'm gonna start with some moisturizer. My face feels kind of dry. Um, I have this like belief little thing and then I I'm gonna try to scrape out some of this elf blemish control primer it doesn't pump out anymore but I'm gonna get some of this moisturizer and I've been mixing it with the elf one but it's basically out so I feel like it's not gonna really I'm literally gonna like unscrew it and, like scrape some of it out of there <sighs> so yeah today it's my 30th birthday. It's um, January 19th. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll post this tonight because honestly, we don't have a lot of plans. Um, but yeah, so January 19th is my birthday. I don't feel like I should be 30 already and I don't really feel like super old, um, but I'm glad to have made it to 30. I'm sorry, my leg is like shaking the whole thing. But yeah, I don't feel like I should be 30. I feel like I'm still like really young but now like looking back like a 20 year old to me is like a kid or like a 22 or like 24 year old that's like a kid to me you know but um yeah I think I'm gonna use another primer on top of that um I have this Too Faced Prime and Poreless I think I'm like sitting on the back of the shirt I think there we go that was my issue <laughs> um but yeah so Last time I talked to you guys, let's see, I did like a pregnancy, or not pregnancy, I wasn't pregnant anymore. It's like a labor and delivery, get ready with me, and some updates like that. And I think that was like at the end of February, so literally like three weeks later. 
COVID hit, as most of you guys know, and I don't want to like go into all that because like haven't we heard it enough in the last year? This year has just been crazy with the pandemic, quarantine, all that, um, as well as politics stuff, inequality crap, and just everything, <laughs> I swear. Um, but yeah, trying to make the most of it. Um, last time I talked to you guys, I talked to you about this like crazy health stuff that I was going through with an autoimmune disease and I have like made it through that. I don't know how, but I'm like so, well, I don't want to get emotional, but I literally am so like blessed and grateful that I, I don't know if the autoimmune disease is just like gone or what, but it is completely gone. I'm completely off the medications for all of that. And I haven't had any issues with that since summer, which is so amazing. Sorry, I'm using this like really old Neutrogena concealer. It's literally almost gone. I try to cover up some of this redness. But yeah, so health wise, like that is doing so, so, so much better. And I'm just so grateful for that. Um, so I'm just really, really happy. I definitely gained weight this year, <laughs> like during the pandemic. So that's like one thing I definitely want to try to work on this next year is like my health and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, it's been a stressful year, so I try not to like be too hard on myself at all. And I had like a baby a year ago. Um, it's just been hard, but I'm very blessed. And man, this year, I tell you what, like my, my husband's been able to work from home. Um, I still work part time. I was able to, you know, be home for maternity leave and then, um, right after that basically was when COVID hit and I was able to stay home for a couple months because of my autoimmune disease. Um, I was able to stay home, which was really, really great. Um, this is Smashbox, like mini <laughs> BB cream. I'm just gonna use a brush, I think. That's what I've been doing lately. I haven't really, I haven't really been doing my makeup. I only finished up literally 12 makeup products last year. I can't even believe it. Like, cause I just like never wore makeup, especially with the masks and stuff. Like who wants to wear makeup and then like put a mask on and then the mask like rubs and sweats off all your makeup. Like it's just, it's just gross. But I'm trying to do it more, even if it's just on my days off and I'm not going anywhere just for me, you know, just to like feel pretty. But, oh, it's been, it's been wild. <laughs> Also, I've had so much like work change and I'm also going to be having more work change like in this upcoming year. So where I was working, I was working at a credit union and it was nice for a while. I made some really great friends there and I'm still like really, really good friends with them. Um, but a lot of them quit and were leaving. And then our branch manager left, who was a guy that I used to work with at my previous job. Um, he left and then we got a new boss and she was just like the worst. And I was like, I'm not going to stay here anymore. And my other friend who was left there too, she was like, I'm leaving too. So we both literally left at like the same time. And ironically, I went back to my old job that I was at for like eight years before, um, which is so crazy. And I'm using this like little tart uh, white powder, but it's got like a sifter. So it takes forever for it to come out. Um, but yeah, they, I like ran into one of my friends I used to work with there. She was like, Hey, um, we're going to be finally having a part-time position open, which she's literally had that position for like four years or something. So she was like, I'm going to be going to full time. Like if you want that spot, do you want to come back? And I was like, heck yeah. So literally like the boss there, I used to work with him, but he like got promoted to the boss there. Um, he like texted me and was like, love to have you come back. And I was like, so excited. It was like, I really missed working there. And they gave me like a really big pay increase, which was really great. Um, it's a lot slower of a branch. I mean, it's still busy, but it's a lot slower. It's like right next door to where I used to work. It was the same building that I used to work in and everything. But the other job that I worked at for two years, they were like right next to each other. <laughs> So I didn't move too far. Where's my powder? I'm going to use this Neutrogena one, like shine control. 
so yeah, I was only a couple doors down. I moved back and it's just been so much better. It's, you know, not as stressful of a job. It's so much slower. It's a better environment to work in. I don't know. I've just been so much happier that I've been back. Um, and I'm still part-time. I just work different days. I work like Monday, Thursday, Friday now. And at the other place I was working Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So Nolan and Olivia still go over to my parents' house and everything while I'm working so I don't have to pay for daycare. We also literally a couple days ago, I think it was Friday, so I don't know what the exact date was, like the 15th or something, we are officially debt free except for our mortgage. Like student loans paid off, cars paid off, every like loan, our home equity loan, credit cards, everything, zero. And we've been working at that literally since like Nolan's been born, before Nolan's been born was when we got the cars and the student loans we've had forever. So it just feels so great. Um, I don't know, it's been a long time coming and I'm just, I feel so blessed. Like this year, like you would think would be like hard financially with, you know, everything, but we've just been so smart for so many years trying to like pay off everything and to not spend money and we are finally there I'm using this L'Oreal true match powder now just because it has a little bit more coverage for right here because I'm so red oh, but you guys okay so yeah that another thing like haven't been, been spending any money to you know get debt free I have not bought any makeup in over four years like what I've gotten like a couple things like as gifts and like um I've had Alta gift cards for years. <laughs> like I still have Alta gift cards that I've had for like three and a half years or something. So I'll like buy a mascara like when I need one. So like that's something but like everything else I've still just been using. I know everything is like starting to get a little bit old but I don't know how I've done it but somehow I've done it. <laughs> Not buying any makeup for four years. I haven't like decluttered a ton. Let me put something on my lip. Let me put this uh, wet and wild lip balm on. But yeah, I haven't bought any makeup. I still have a lot. I need to like declutter. I did do like some decluttering, but nothing like major. And my friend recently, she had a baby and I went over to see her and meet her baby and everything. And she was telling me about these um, Facebook groups that are called Buy Nothing Facebook groups or something like that. And you like join one that's like for your area and you can either like post like requests for stuff that you like want or you can post things that you are giving away for free so nothing people can buy like it, everything's for free so that's why it's called buy nothing um and so I've seen a bunch of people post like makeup and like beauty stuff on there um which is like stuff you know that you couldn't donate to like a goodwill or something like that you know and then people literally just come and pick it up off your porch. Like if it's something they, they could use or that they want. And I'm like, that's so awesome. Because so many people in my life like don't need any more makeup. Because I've just given them a lot. And I don't know. like Or they're like really into like higher end stuff. And like I don't know what to do with some of my cheaper stuff, you know. So that's something that I'm planning on doing to like really declutter. So hopefully I can do some videos on it. I actually have like a big bag of stuff set aside. That I want to declutter so maybe I'll do a video on it before I get rid of everything um, I use this bourgeois um, liquid eyeshadow in beige and I'm gonna use this like old school Elmay trio I just love these I have a couple backups and I just need to like pan them because they're literally my favorite I've hit pan on the like lighter color it's literally my favorite I can't ever find anything that's like exactly the same I just like use my finger for the lighter color first. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's kind of like my plan for hopefully decluttering some stuff. But yeah, I think that'll be nice. Um, I'm trying to think of like what else. I feel like there's so much stuff I wanted to update. It's just been such a <laughs> crazy year with like COVID and my job change and having two kids now and like one that's little you know Olivia's been she turned one in October and she's like running everywhere and eating everything and I don't know she's so cute Nolan 
is gonna be five this year, which makes me like so sad. I don't want him to grow up so fast. And also he's gonna be starting kindergarten this year, which makes me a little bit emotional. He has this oop, darker color now with this fluffy brush. But yeah, he's gonna be starting kindergarten in the fall, which I don't even know what that's gonna look like with COVID and everything. Hopefully it'll just be like pretty normal, but we'll have to see. Um, I even like considered like, I guess I could like homeschool him if I needed to. Um, now that we are debt free, we're planning on me hopefully finally being able to be a stay at home mom, um, like soon. Um, oh, this is the other thing. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm thinking about being a stay at home mom, especially cause once Nolan starts school, it's gonna be like a really hectic schedule. And like, I don't even know how that would work with like my parents and they live kind of far away and like Nolan gets done with school before like I would get out of work and all of that. I'm just putting some of this in my lower lash line. But yeah, I feel like that's pretty. I don't know, it's like such an easy, simple eye. I might add a little bit of a darker color just because it's my birthday. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use this little brush with, um, I have this little MAC palette I'm gonna use. I think this is, yeah, Folly. But, um, so my job where I work now, right before I started, like literally like two weeks before they uh, merged with another bank. And so now it's like called a completely different thing. So it's not technically the exact same place that I used to work, but it is, I guess. Banks do that all the time. We, when I was working there before, we would like buy other banks and they would just take on our name. Well now, um, we got bought out and so the bank that I work at now is called something different. I'm gonna use a pencil brush with a little bit of that to go under my lash line too. Um, but then literally like, when was it? I think it was like right before Christmas. Yeah, cause I was like super sick and it was not COVID. I had to get tested twice so far for COVID and it was not a fun time. But I was super sick, I came back to work. Um, found out that our bank got bought out again, but by a different bank literally within like two months of it already getting bought out and um they just told us this week that our branch is getting closed which is really sad to me um i started there january 17th 2011 so i've literally been there my 10 year anniversary was two days ago and it's the same exact branch and everything i started there 10 years ago and it's getting shut down and it's like in a strip mall. So it's probably just gonna like not be a bank anymore. It's probably gonna get like turned into something else. I don't really know, but I'm, I'm a little bit sad about it. I'm gonna use more of this Neutrogena Ooh, powder to clean up some fallout. So yeah, my job is all sorts of crazy. So they already told us like your branch is gonna be closing. It probably isn't gonna happen until like fall maybe at the end of this year so we have at least like nine to 12 months and they would give us like a three month um update anyways so that's the eyes i think um i think i'll just leave it at that it's so much light and like makes it look <laughs> so much uh, lighter but it's it's pretty dark it's pretty um but yeah so i was kind of already planning on leaving before that anyways i hadn't like talked to my boss about it obviously i wasn't gonna have to be like yeah, hire me and then I'm gonna leave. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll probably be leaving, you know, in the summer or fall anyways, God willing. Um, I'm using this bronzer. I depotted it in here, but it's an old, like, Victoria's Secret bronzer. It's one of my oldest uh, bronzers. So, yeah. But yeah, my job is closing. The whole building is closing down, which is really, really sad. Um... I won't be able to like go back to visit, but it's okay. I'm really glad like I got to go back before they closed. I feel like it just kind of like was full circle because I was always kind of sad that I had left there. Um, and I'm just really happy to be back and it's like a ton of the same customers and stuff. So yeah, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm shaking the camera so much, but my leg is like <laughs> stuck right there. 
this BB cream doesn't <laughs> give me a ton of coverage either, but that's okay. I'm only gonna be wearing this makeup for a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like my job situation. Um, Brendan's been, his work also got bought out, <laughs> like literally at the same time as mine, um, which is crazy. Like my dad, oh, I must have dropped something upstairs. My dad and my brother both used to work there. My dad, um, actually started there right before I was born. Um, and he retired from there a couple years ago. Um, I'm using this blush. I deposited it in here too. It's part of the same like Victoria's Secret thingy. <laughs> But yeah, it's just like a pinky. I mix I'm mixing both of those two together. But yeah. Um, so his work got bought out. And the new company is not that great, to be honest. Um, they're kicking me off the insurance. Now I have to have marketplace insurance, and it's insanely expensive. Like it's oh I'll be on my back. And it doesn't cover like anything. So um, and then literally like a month after his work got bought out, it got bought out again. And it's like not in effect yet, I don't think, until like March or something like that. So hopefully his new place will um, let me be on their insurance again. And they also like, this other place I had bought them out wasn't doing 401k um, matching anymore, which is really dumb. Um, this is a Maybelline Define a Brow. I'm going to do some eyebrow stuff. But yeah, like, I can't believe, like, my work got bought out twice, like, at towards the end of the year. And so did Brendan's. Like, it's been crazy. But he's been able to work from home, which has been really, really great. Like, we've got to spend so much time together as a family. And we're, like, germaphobes, so we, were, like, already don't really go out. We mostly just, like, pick up our groceries. Um, My work, like, it was drive through only for a long time. And now it's finally just now going back to, actually, it went back to um, lobbies being open today on my birthday. But I had five days off for my birthday because um, Monday was Martin Luther King Day. And I work Monday, Thursday, Friday. So I don't go back till Thursday, which is super nice. But yeah, um, we were drive through only for like a month. Now we're opening the lobbies back up again, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, it'll just be an adjustment, but I'm glad that Brendan's been able to be home at least. And like on my days off, like all of us are together, even though he's working, but like, I don't know, it's just so nice to have him here and you know, he like takes lunch with us and stuff like that. And he can like come up and see us a couple times throughout the day and like talk with us or like if I need him or something, you know? So that's always really nice. Brush these out. The mask thing has been like super annoying though. I try to not be like negative about it, but it just sucks when you have to wear it for like nine hours straight. And I bought like a ton of masks from Old Navy. Like, I don't know, a few months back. And I was like, oh, is this dumb? Like that I bought so many and we're not gonna have to wear masks for very long. And like, we're still wearing masks. So <laughs> I'm glad that I, um, we're able to pick some of those up and I've just been using those. So there's eyebrows. My face looks like really red on the camera, but I feel like it's not really like that in real life. <sighs> Let's see. My lips are kind of weird with my foundation and my lips. What else I want to talk to you guys about? I feel like there's just been so much stuff. Um, like with my work and COVID and kids and just life in general it has just been, it's been crazy, but, um, I look forward to, you know, what's in store and, um, I'm going to use just like this fluffy eyeshadow brush and this like light color. I'm going to use it to kind of like highlight. <laughs> I like to highlight the tip of my nose. Um, like, if I can be a Stone Point stay-at-home mom at some point this year, I feel like that would be really, really great. I'm excited. I've literally wanted that for years, and it just keeps falling through because, you know, life's expensive. And it does make me nervous because, you know, life is really expensive. But 
I feel like my um, ways of like thinking with money have really changed. Like I went like two or three years without buying any clothes at all. Like even when I was pregnant, I didn't buy anything. I just wore the couple of flowy shirts that I still could and leggings. Like I didn't buy any maternity clothes. Um, and so I finally just now like let myself get a couple new clothes because I have like gained a little bit of weight and also my clothes were just kind of starting to fall apart to be honest and at my new job we can't wear leggings <laughs> so I needed like some real pants so yeah but other than that like you know I haven't bought makeup and like same with like skincare hair care body care stuff I've been just like trying to use up what I've had for so long and I'm finally like starting to get there I'm gonna curl my eyelashes now um I think of what else to update you guys on. I still just can't believe it's been I feel like time is just flying by. Like how am I 30? 30. I feel so old. But also like I feel I don't feel old. I mean my body does feel kind of old. Like I'm like my back hurts all the time. My knees hurt all the time. <laughs> like I don't know. But I don't feel like I should be as old as I am. Like, I still feel like I'm young. So maybe, like, 30 isn't that old. <laughs> like, I don't know. When I used to think, like, being in your 30s was old. And now I'm like, I'm still young. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Um, People still always say, like, like when I started at my new job. um, Well, my old job. But I started back there and there was, like, some new people. They thought I was, like, 23. <laughs> which was <laughs> awesome because... I'm clearly not. Did my camera move down? Maybe it was always right there. But yeah. Um, hopefully I look, <laughs> you know, not that old. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this. I just ran out of this on my eyeliner. So I'm going to use this Physician's Formula one. And just go in my tight line and stuff. I've not been doing any eyeliner on the top for a very long time now. I just feel like it doesn't work on my eyes. I don't know. Uh, my brother and his girlfriend, or now fiance, <laughs> are getting married. Um, that happened since last time I saw you guys. They got engaged in April, I think. Yeah, um, April something. <laughs> and um, they're getting married in June, which hopefully, like, COVID will be a little bit better by then, I'm hoping. But I'm, that's really exciting. I'm very happy for them. Um... And I'm going to be a bridesmaid in the wedding. And uh, Brendan's going to be a groomsman. And then Nolan is going to be the ring bearer, which is super cute. Um, and I'm really excited for all of that. So, yeah, hopefully things are getting better. There's a lot of people I just, like, haven't seen <laughs> since COVID happened. Um like, even in my family, like, I haven't really seen a lot of my cousins, um, or, like, my aunts and uncles. I just recently saw my grandma for Christmas, but I hadn't seen her since, like, June, maybe. So, uh, I've only really seen her twice. And she was in the hospital for a really long time during, um, like, the quarantine period. Like, she went to the hospital, like, at the end of March or, like, beginning of April. And she was in there until, like, oh my gosh, like, a couple months and we could not go see her at all. Oh, it was really, really hard on me. My grandma is like <laughs> one of my favorite people ever. Like, I don't know, we're really, really close. And I just haven't wanted to risk like getting too close with her or anything. But also like she's getting older. So like I do want to see her. But right before Christmas, I had a COVID test because I did get sick. Like me and Nolan and Olivia all got really sick somehow. I don't know how. Um... And it wasn't COVID. Me and Nolan both had to get tested. Um, so I felt like it was okay for me to like go visit her and stuff. Um, so I'm glad that we got to see her. My brother and his fiance did get COVID um, right before Thanksgiving. So this was the first year I like did Thanksgiving all by myself. Like all the food. And you know, Brendan doesn't eat gluten or dairy um, or nuts. <laughs> 
His diet is like crazy now. I feel like my camera like moved. It must have. Can you guys still see me? I don't know how to like prop it back up. I'll just try to like hunch down. But um, yeah, I was able to like buy all the stuff for it to be gluten free and dairy free and all that. And it ended up being amazing. Like it was so good. Um, and then we ended up making the same exact meal for Christmas. And on Christmas, we only had my parents come over because, you know, we're just like not really seeing people right now. And my parents, we still see them all the time because, you know, they watch the kids and everything. And they, my dad's retired and stuff. So, you know, they don't really go out except to like get groceries. Sorry, I'm like bumping the camera so much. Um, so yeah. And then we saw my grandma and my brother and his fiance the day after Christmas. So that was nice to like still get to get together and see them. My uncle came too, but because he lives with my grandma. Um, did I tell you guys what this is? It's the Too Faced Fire Than Sex Mascara. It's starting to dry out. I didn't get to use it as much as I should have, but it's been open for like six months, I want to say, but I've literally done my makeup like maybe 15 times in the last six months. That's pushing it. It was probably only like 10 times. So like this mascara just got kind of got wasted to be honest. But I just want to try to get a little bit of use left out of it. It's just getting really, really dry. Um, I need to like find a way to prop up my camera. That's not how it was. I need something taller. Let's use this eyeshadow. Oh, now it's way too tall. What else is smaller? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use this. Okay, now that's working. Um, I actually cut off my camera when I was trying to fix it because it had fallen and it was doing like a weird angle. So, we're back. <laughs> and I'm still working on mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I have no clue what I was talking about, but... You know what? That's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like it's a little crookedy now. <laughs> oh well, we'll make it work. This is the angle we're going with. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to do some more updated videos. I'm hoping that um, I feel like I was trying to say this earlier, but once um, I am staying home with the kids. Maybe, like, I'll have more time to film when, like, Nolan's in school and Olivia's napping, maybe? I don't know. I always, like, think, oh, like, in the future, when this happens, I'll have more time. And in the future, when this happens, I'll have more time. And, like, I don't know. Just you know, being a mom in general, like, you just don't have time. Like, I used to do videos consistently. I started in 2010, May 2010. I think most of those videos are privated now. When I was only 19, which is crazy that I'm 30 now. So literally almost 11 years ago. But I didn't start doing it more like consistently, I would say, until October. October. I think it was October, but 2012. And then that only really lasted until like 2015 when I was like super pregnant. And then I did like a few videos in 2016 before Nolan was born. And then like after he was born, like... <laughs> Everything just kind of like went out the window with that. But also, um, I don't know, like, I feel like YouTube's just a little bit different now. Like, it's just so, like, saturated and stuff. Um, and, like, a lot of the people that I used to be, like, really good friends with don't really do videos as much anymore. Like, some of them do still. And some of them still do videos a lot. And sometimes some of them only post, like, here and there. But, like, a few of my, like, friends on here just haven't done it in a while. And, I mean, I'm right there with you. Like, I have not been posting either. Like, it's literally been almost a year. Um, but I just miss them. And I miss, like, the old videos. The new ones are good, too. And I like all the people that I'm subscribed to and I watch them. And I just feel like there's so many people now. And, like, so many different... I don't know. I just feel like I can't really keep up. <laughs> with like all the like different challenges that are going on and stuff like that and 
what everyone's doing just because like I don't even have time to really watch with having you know two kids I don't have time for anything <laughs> but yeah I just miss it sometimes like I don't know I'll always remember those days and just like be really really you know sentimental about them like 2012, 2013, 14, 15. Those were like, I don't know, the good old years of YouTube for me. And I know it probably will never be like that again, but um, I don't know. I still go back and watch like a lot of people's old videos or like even my old videos just to like kind of be nostalgic about it. But yeah, it was a fun time. I miss it. And I'll probably never have that much time for anything like that again until like literally my kids are like grown and out of the house and at that point like I'll probably be like tired and old and YouTube won't even exist anymore and internet will be like something completely different <laughs> by that point but okay so that is see I think my camera's like falling down again why this thing sucks, but I don't want to invest in, like, something expensive. Um, lips. I'm going to do some uh, MAC World Lip Liner. It's literally my favorite. Um, for Christmas, Brendan, like, surprised me and, like, picked me out some lip liners because I had been talking to him and saying, like, that I wanted to maybe get a couple more because I only have a few. Um, and I was, like, looking for, like, a while to get some with my Ulta gift card and he surprised me and he got me two for Christmas which was so cute and he like picked them out he got me Spice and Whirl and he didn't know that I already had Whirl but it's literally my favorite and I wear it like every time I do my makeup so I'm excited to like have a backup of it and I've already like sharpened this one down like halfway which is funny but okay I'm gonna put this on gotta kind of get going it's already getting late here and we haven't done cake or presents yet and we're gonna order dinner in for my birthday we ordered um olive garden for lunch because they have some gluten-free stuff that brennan can eat and that was really good and then um we're gonna get chinese from like my favorite chinese place for dinner it's literally my mom's been taking me there since i was a little girl it's so good. I get like Hunan beef and hot and sour soup and it's so good. It's my favorite. So we're going to get that. And then Brendan's making a gluten-free cake, a Funfetti cake. Nolan is really excited to eat it. I'm sure Olivia will too. And we still got to do, they have some presents up there for me and stuff. But Olivia was napping when I started this. I can hear that she's up now. So, um been nice to just come down here and get ready a little bit it's just kind of feel pretty now that I'm 30 but yeah what else oh the other day my parents um took the kids overnight for us which was so nice and me and Brendan like went to mall because I had like you know like my Sephora free gift and Victoria's Secret sent me like a $10 thing and we had some returns to do to Kohl's and Old Navy for um what you call it from Christmas presents and stuff and um I had like a Bath and Body Works coupon and stuff so we went to the mall which we have not been to the mall since COVID hit since Rona came so um we went to the mall together and it was just nice to like get out of the house and do something because we just we really just don't like we're germaphobes anyways but also like we are also homebodies so we never get out of the house plus we have two little kids so yeah we um got to get out of the house and um, kind of like a fun story, we we met at Sears. That's how we met. We both worked at Sears back in the day. And um, the one that we used to work at closed already, but there's a second mall by us that still had a Sears. And we were like, let's just park by there and like walk in there. And we did, and it said it was closing in a couple days. So we like took some pictures in front of the sign because you know, it's closing down and that's like where we met. And I don't think there's like any more Sears left anymore. Like Sears or Kmart. Let me know if you guys have any left by you. But I'm pretty sure they're like, they're done. So yeah, that was fun. Um, so we did kind of like get to go get out and do something for my birthday together. Which was really, really cute. And then today just kind of like hang out and chill. And just be like comfy at home. And 
we were like, let's just eat really good <laughs> on my birthday. And then, you know, that'll be like the fun thing that we do is just like order out food. And then um, my diet needs to start back up <laughs> like bad. So yeah, I think I'm ready. I just did a little bit of some CoverGirl lip gloss over top of that lip liner. So this is my 30th birthday makeup. Do I look like I'm 30? Do I look old? Do I have wrinkles? Like, I can't really tell. I've been noticing though, like, if I do wear makeup and I smile a lot, I'll get like a little crease of makeup right there now. I'm like, no! So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I have really missed doing videos and talking with you guys and I just thought it'd be fun to update you and let you know what I've been up to and um just do some like fun little birthday stuff for myself I want I need to make more time for myself I really really do you know there's always the mom guilt and stuff like that I don't want to get emotional but I just love my kids so much and it's hard for me to like like I'm a very um like I like my me time but I never give myself it so I get kind of sad you know but I'm really glad that I got to come and do this and hopefully I can try to do it more um but yeah, you guys know how it is. Life's always just so busy. So I don't make any promises or anything like that. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and for being here. If you're new, if you're old, um, I'm just glad to have like a little place where, you know, I have supportive friends that are online that I can talk to about, you know, you know, the same interests as me. And you guys have kept up with me through my life from when I was in my teens and now I'm in my 30s so yeah um thank you guys so much for watching and I'm just so glad to come and talk to you guys and I'm excited to see your comments and um talk back with you guys and stuff like that um I do post on Instagram sometimes I'm not like a huge Instagram person but if you need like more updates than my videos um I'll link that down below it's the same name as my YouTube but anyways you guys Thank you so much for watching. It's been so good talking with you all and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.